question, what does a chameleon have in common with JVC's brand new KW V320BT stereo? Let's start with the lizard. Like all you reptile fanatics know, what makes it unique is its ability to change colors to adapt to its environment. In similar fashion, the KW V320BT has the ability to change its display's layouts or skins. The stereo is also called El Chameleon, with a K. I believe it hails from Spain. The radio has three different display layouts. With each layout comes a host of backgrounds and colors to choose from, as well as giving you the option to add your own with a USB drive. This gives the user countless options to choose from to always give your radio a fresh look. The Chameleon is a Bluetooth enabled DVD receiver with a 6.8 inch clear resistive touchscreen display. Its most family friendly feature is its ability to play DVDs, just pop in a movie and get to watching. The built-in Bluetooth allows you to stream tunes from your music libraries, plus helps you practice safe driving with hands-free calling, and allows you to even go through your phone book. The Chameleon is compatible with iPods, iPhones, and iPads, plus it has a built-in Android music control using the USB port direct connection, but we wanted to test this. JVC says it has AppLink mode for iOS, but after some trial and error, we found out that the apps won't work with a lightning cable device so it's not compatible with a newer generation Apple device because of the lack of an HDMI MHL input. With a lightning cable, you can still charge your phone and stream music from your apps like Pandora and Spotify with your newer iPhone, but you can't display apps like Waze and Index Traffic on the screen. And that's what the higher end models can do with their HDMI inputs. App Link mode only works with the 30 pin generation devices like the iPhone 4, but only if you purchase the KSU59 USB AV cable to connect it to the AV input in the back of the radio. What? Who wants to deal with that? I mean, yeah, I have an old iPhone 4S sitting in my bureau, but I'm not gonna carry that and my iPhone 6 every time I leave the house to drive somewhere. That's a little ridiculous, JVC. But let's move on. This radio is also Android compatible, allowing you to use JVC's Android apps like JVC Music Play. We used an LG Stylo, and it was a little difficult and more confusing than it should have been to connect at first. You have to make sure all of your Android software is up to date and give the JVC permission to access your basic apps. Kind of annoying. Really, the only benefit of the Android USB connection in JVC Music Play is it will show you album art and give your phone a charge. It's easier to just stream music with Bluetooth. A pretty cool smartphone feature is dual phone connection. We connected an iPhone 6 with our LG Stylo. You can switch back and forth between them pretty easily so your buddy in the front seat can be in charge of the music and you can still receive your phone calls. All in all, this radio smartphone features are a bit of a disappointment. It's 2016 and it doesn't support any apps through a lightning cable. But let's remember, this is an entry level radio. Its main selling points really are the 6.8 inch display, changing skins, and its compatibility with the iDaddling Maestro. The Chameleon is Spotify, Pandora, and Sirius XM ready. Let's go through the Chameleon's audio settings, which JVC definitely got right. The 13 band EQ gives you seven preset EQs, plus allows you to customize your own. Add a sound effect like bass boost, move the fade position to any area in the car, adjust crossover settings to your specific vehicle and speaker size, and time alignment allows you to move the center listening position. The rear USB port not only supports audio formats, but also video formats with a USB drive. Add a backup camera and adjust the assisted parking grid guidelines. Install the iDaddling Maestro to retain factory controls, including voice control and view new settings like gauges, climate control, and tire pressure. The Chameleon is also steering wheel control ready. The connections in the back include the wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Sirius XM tuner, iDaddling Maestro, Bluetooth microphone, iPod AV, video output, backup camera, three sets of four volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, AM FM tuner, and a USB extension. Included with the radio is an external Bluetooth microphone, wiring harness, and parking brake extension. That's it on the Chameleon. Be sure to check it out online at qualitymobilevideo.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see another cool video, just go ahead and click right here. Who knows what it will be? Thanks for watching.